Google Scholar does a lot more than allow you to search for articles. It allows you to create a profile with them and you can sync it quite easily to your Google profile. So here we are, we're in my personal Google profile and I'm logged in. And if you look here on the left side of the screen for Google Scholar, you'll see something that says my profile. This is where you can set up a scholar profile so that you can connect with other researchers, create a list of your publications, and save the searches you're working on, and people can follow you. So over here on the right side, we have co-authors. So if you write with other people, you can add co-authors in anytime you want. Here on the left side of the screen, if I click the paper, the pencil next to my name, it allows me to edit my uh, IDs information. So my name, where I'm working, so I can change this since from University of Mass Lowell to University of Massachusetts Lowell and make sure I spell it correctly. I can add in my areas of interest. Where am I publishing? What topics am I publishing in? My email so they can verify it and it doesn't have to be the same one you use for your Google profile. It can be your campus address. And then a home page. This could be a personal page you've paid uh, to set up as a profile. This could be a campus profile, one of our digital profiles. This could be an ORCID ID. Uh, it can be a ResearchGate profile. It can be anything um, that you want. And you have the choice to make your profile public or not and then save. You can see here the Wikipedia, the social dramas, library programs, those were my interests and they're all links and when I click on one I can see all the researchers that fit within that profile and the other profile topics they have. So here's someone who does geek feminism, life hacking, reading the comments, and Wikipedia. Computer science, biology, bioinformatics, education, Wikipedia. I can find collaborators and see how many people have cited their articles. I can add in content from my articles. There's a little plus sign here next to the word title <coughs> and I can add article groups articles individually uh, and this will do a hunt for my name or I can add them manually and I can configure the article updates so that I can tell it whether it should automatically update or not and it will add in the content and if I'm cited by anybody it will show it here that will allow you to see more content so let's click on Wikipedia and see somebody else's profile you can see here people have cited his article this many times and I can click on those numbers and get to those articles. And since I've synced this with UML already in our library content, it'll allow me to either link to the full text or uh, interlibrary loan request it. And then of course I can follow anybody and I can see their homepage. I can see because this person has a lot of publications, I can see that impact factor information about how many citations they've had, how many it's been since 2013, the H index of the journals, the I-10 index, these are all ways to identify uh, the, the impact of the journals that they're publishing in. And then here I can see content about number of citations each year. So I can see that this person happens to be decreasing. It might be that they haven't published anything new. And I can make sure I know this by checking when they last published. The year is a link, so I can make that the primary uh, way it's, the list is organized. And then of course I can see their co-authors and all the people they've written with and go to those profiles. So this is an easy and free way to connect to people. It being uh, just a profile, you can then go and link to it. So if I go back to my profile over on the left at Google Scholar, it will take me back to mine and I can make sure that people see it. Then I can also set up my library, which are articles that I want to read on topics I'm interested in. And you can see here it says Wikipedia and I can manage my labels. But when I search within Google Scholar, I can use these options to create an alert and I can star these articles 
that I want to save and then go to my library and find those new articles that I've just added and create a new label just for them. And finally, don't forget to set up any alerts for yourself. You can check out metrics without connecting them to your profile in any way so that you can find content uh, that, or you can find ways to publish that'll have the most impact. And of course, if you go to the gears, you can set it up to sync it with both EndNote by going to this search results page and selecting EndNote. And of course, bib text to get it into um, a list of results into the ORCID ID. But if you go to library links, you can set it up to sync with UMass Lowell so that you can make interlibrary loan requests or get to the full text easily. And that's the basics of using Google Scholar as a profile.